Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Well, guys, we're just going to do a quick kind of uh, discussion, uh, opinion, kind of feeling on the new Netflix animated series, Masters of the Universe Revelation. Uh, if you've been online, if you've been on YouTube and you're a fan and you're looking around for these things, you're going to see that there have been a lot of bad uh, uh, first impressions of how the series is going to go. And uh, this is before people even seen the show. So there's a lot of bad, a lot of bad press out there uh, that was really... Uh, not warranted until you've seen the show then you give your opinions you just can't go by certain you know uh, clips and uh, pictures and maybe a storyline and you know that you're reading or something you can't always go by everything like that so uh, it just come out today I watched it all uh, it's only five episodes right now I just binge watched it and uh, and I have a couple things to say number one the big concern was has it went woke well my opinion it hasn't necessarily went woke but uh, you do get an element or two of you know women uh, being stronger than men looking stronger than men and kind of the ones that uh, can take control and do things you do get that along the way uh, a couple times you also get the whole woke uh, issue whenever you have characters that were normally uh, one race or color or what have you and now they're a different one there is that as well and uh, that I don't agree with I don't think you should ever change a character uh, from what it was if you want to add new diversity into shows and things you should create new characters and uh, do it that way. I don't think you should ever change um, something that's already there and set in stone. So there is a couple of those instances in this uh, series so far, but it's nothing that should totally scare you and drive you away. Uh, there are great characters. There's a good story. There are lots of surprises. There is great animation. Uh, the writing seems pretty good as far as I'm concerned. Uh, things kind of sort of pick up, kind of sort of, after the original 80s Filmation series. Uh, this, this new series kind of picks up from there a little bit. You know, it could be a, a few years later on uh, because some of the characters look older. And I don't know if that was just a choice to make some of the characters uh, look older like maybe they should have been in the 80s I don't know but some of the characters look older but then some of them look like they haven't aged at all or maybe aged a couple of years so uh, I'm not exactly sure with uh, you know why they chose kind of that unless uh, unless you know it's like I said you know they wanted like say the king to look older or perhaps Duncan to look older you know because maybe that's how they think he should have looked in the 80s. You know, they should have looked. I don't know. So anyway, um, you're also going to get some very good uh, voice acting in this uh, series so far. The only one that I wasn't truly happy with was Cringer. Uh, from the moment he first spoke, it just hit me like that doesn't fit, really. Um, and I don't expect it to be like it was in the 80s. I don't e expect, you know, something you know spot on like that but it just didn't fit really in my opinion uh, a couple of other, uh, the other characters all sounded pretty good uh, there was no big uh, issue with that for me uh, the animation it looks fine to me it's kind of an up, updated version of like the 2k series uh, there's there's a, a lot of the filmation kind of style but there's also a lot of the 2k style and uh they kind of mesh pretty well, I think. Some of it's really beautiful and done well. And uh, also in the story, and there's no spoilers here, guys, but there are a couple of things that happen uh, in 
in these first five episodes that will surprise you that uh, will make you kind of you know uh, see that they're not scared to maybe go there to go a, a step or two and uh, I was really surprised by that and uh, that was nice to see it's good to see him do that in a animated show uh, in these days and especially one that you're not sure if they're really ma making this for kids or adults but I think it's more geared towards us older guys uh, that were fans of the original show and it may, probably even the 2k series but uh, uh, yeah I was really surprised and happy that they went there with some of the choices that they made um, so this is just a quick uh, kind of thoughts and opinions on it uh, I don't want you to be scared going in to watch this uh, because I think so far with the first five episodes I, I think they did a really fine job and I think a lot of the a lot of the videos and a lot of the stuff that you're gonna see on YouTube is really just there for attention purposes uh, to get views uh, because that's all people care about anyway and they like controversy and stirring stuff up so I think you're gonna be fairly happy with this so far I'll, I'll, I'll give you a quick little list of some of the characters here uh, we have Chris Wood as He-Man we have uh, Harley Quinn Smith as uh, Lena, or whatever her name is, Mark Hamill as Skeletor, uh, Lena Headley as Eva Lynn, Sarah Michelle Geller as Tila. But uh, that's another thing that I did enjoy. I liked seeing a lot of the characters, and they introduce them real quick. And you do get some kind of epic battles, and uh, you get a, a sense of. Uh, a sense of they're not just trying to let everything lay on He-Man's shoulders, which is what I like. And even looking back at the 80s cartoon, even though I'm a huge fan of it, uh, I grew up with it. Uh, that's one thing that I would change about the original is that all these other characters didn't really get their time to shine. They didn't go in there and fight really as a team. It was all, everything is, He-Man can do this, and He-Man will win the day and save the day and beat everyone, and no worries, no struggles, no problems. And, uh, you know, nobody can fight. None of the villains can fight. None of the heroes can fight. You never see anything really great happen. You never have great battles. And, uh, in my opinion, Masters of the Universe should be about... Uh, good and evil and battles and everyone being able to take care of their own and fight and uh, have something to uh, contribute uh, along the way so and the 2k series did that uh, uh, better than uh, the filmation series and I hope that this one continues to uh, up the ante uh, on that because that's what I want to see I want to see battles where everyone takes part and they can all contribute and do something so guys in my opinion uh watch this uh, i was i was pretty happy with it i feel like it's gonna uh deliver a little a little bit more goodness along the way i hope anyway um stop listening to all the naysayers to all the you know all the rumors and the the ignorance that's online stop listening to all that go watch it for yourself and Come back, let me know in the comments what you think, okay? Hope you enjoyed this video from an original, real He-Man fan, not some made-up entity online for views and clicks, okay? Check out my playlist. I have all kind of good stuff in my playlist. You're going to find something on Mikey Sun TV that you're going to like and enjoy. I can guarantee you that. And then when you've done that, go check out my other channel, Old Mental Pickle. That's where I live stream video games only, okay? Like, share, subscribe, comment. Get my channels out there. I'm a good, decent, wholesome, channel-y kind of guy. And I think you'll enjoy me. Okay? So go watch the new Masters of the Universe Revelations. Alright? Get up. Get out. Get rad. Do it to it. And by the power of Gray Skull, report back here and let me know what you think. We'll see y'all later. Have a fantastic Friday.
Get up, get out, get around and do it, do it!